The religion major gives students the opportunity to think about the big questions. Why are we here? Why do we suffer? What does it mean to create a just society? Are there any ways in which these categories illuminate your research or engage with topics that you've been thinking about? Religion is really an interdisciplinary major, so you're coming at this one phenomenon from a variety of perspectives. Art history, archaeology, textual studies, ritual studies, current events, media and film. It's really just for anyone who wants to understand this important phenomenon in the modern world. Religion is the gateway into thinking about how do people think, how do we form beliefs, what do we believe, how does this affect us? You know, these are massive questions that I feel like a lot of people want to search. The practice of Buddhism is about being awake to reality. Our classes are oriented towards people not only learning about their own religious traditions in a scholarly and academic way, but also the world's religions as well. In an increasingly globalized world, whether you're doing business in Shanghai or Dubai, you're going to be sensitive to and have some basic understanding of major religious traditions that may not be one's own. Part of leaving Egypt was God told them he was taking them to their land, the, pro the promised land. The study of religion at USC is not the study of a theology, it's the study of the idea of religion. What, what is religion? On this understanding, Islamic law becomes a thoroughly justificatory system. I took a class with Professor Sherman Jackson on Islam, and so I was fairly confident about what, I, what the class would entail. And I show up the first day and I realize I really don't know all that much. And not knowing much is, is a good place to be because there's so much room for growth. I, I realized that this, this is a world that had been closed to me, but now I could explore. I have so much to learn. My career path has been changed. My interest is Islamic, Islamic studies. It's been a very transformative experience to become a religion major. There are many ways in which we take a look at religious practice. Sometimes we go out to religious communities here in LA, which is the world's most religiously diverse city. But other times we bring that practice to the campus. A good example is Professor James McHugh's Sense of Centrality in Indian Religious Traditions course, in which he brings classical Indian dance and other kind of religious dance and performance to students who normally would not have a chance to take a look at that. We have a lot of research institutes that are connected to the religion department. This really speaks to the research activity of our faculty. It's our outreach. I teach a course, Religion 495, Field Methods in Archaeology. I brought students to Catalina Island, just across the water from Los Angeles. It's a sacred landscape. I've worked in Israel, in Turkey, so to understand the ancient world, to be an archaeologist, you're always thinking about religion. I wanted to be able to understand the material that I was looking at from both perspectives. Archaeology and religion, for me, complement each other perfectly. Gods are referenced in texts all the time. They're in inscriptions. Everything has meaning. This is one of the Dead Sea Scroll fragments that we've recently photographed, and I wanted to show you how we do a reconstruction of it. Religion has so many wonderful professors who are so engaged in their work. We have a number of faculty who have been able to create opportunities for students to work one-on-one -on -one with them on active research projects. And one example is Professor Bruce Zuckerman, who has been able to bring in undergraduates to help him with his research on the Dead Sea Scrolls. You're not just learning sort of one skill, you're really learning a whole toolkit of skills about how to think about a complex phenomenon in the world. I learned honestly like how to think critically in my classes. As a person who's interested in going into the nonprofit sector, learning about people who come from different religious backgrounds or different cultural ethnic backgrounds is so integral to that. I feel like I have a pretty comprehensive perspective on the world and today's issues. And I mean, ultimately what that does is it makes me less afraid to try and confront those issues and try to, you know, somehow in some measly way contribute to solving them. 